More renewable energy in the EU's energy mix is one of the key objectives of the energy union. However, in order to integrate more renewable energy into current energy systems and future energy systems, you need to look at many different energy scenarios, you need to have an exact planning. Today, the JRC, the Joint Research Centre, the European Commission Science and Knowledge Centre, has launched what's called the EMIRIS database. Now, first question, what is the EMIRIS database? EMIRIS data set is a set of data that you can download. It tells you how much energy has been produced with the current installed capacity at each hour during a period of 1986 to 2015. Okay, so you've looked over a, a very large period in, in quite a lot of detail, but can we also use this data to look at the future, to predict what will happen? Uh, yes, we can derive this data to, you, to generate uh, future scenarios because although it takes into account the current uh, install capacity of 2015, it also includes uh, 30 years of climate variability. Okay, uh, and what makes this system unique? What's special about it? How does it work? Yeah, EMIRES was created using the latest uh, meteorological and technical information in order to capture the wind, uh, the local scale of the wind variability, that this is crucial to estimate the wind resource in a region. And actually, uh, MIRES is the only publicly available data set that uh, it consists on time series uh, for a such long period on a EU member state subnational level, that is uh, regions, provinces, counties, using a, methodo a methodology that, ca that captures the local effects of the wind farms. Okay, and at, at the end of the day, this type of technology should be helping the citizens. But how, how will it affect the, the European citizens? EMIRES generates the wind power in time, but this data set can be fit in other uh, larger and more complex models that can generate more sophisticated scena energy scenarios that could result in better plan, both technically and financially, and transparent energy projects, and also results in potential more secure and cheaper energy for EU citizens. Okay, that sounds like good news. More secure and cheaper energy, that's, uh, that's, that's good news. But okay, we're now talking about wind energy, which is one form of renewables. Are you, are you intending to look at other forms of renewable energy? Yes, currently we are working on the solar power. We intend to release uh, the same similar data set, the same as with the wind part. We also we are also finishing the demand profiles that the temperature plays also an important role. And the next step are to focus on the hydropower. Okay, thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you.